The world's leading storm experts gathering recently in Florida for the dozens of companies showcasing their innovations. Disaster recovery technology has improved dramatically since 2005 when the last major hurricane hit the U.S. They press a button and the whole unit deploys. Skycasters uses satellites to deliver the internet to first responders in disaster zones. We can maintain temperatures even in extreme environments. Dishes like this one were deployed after Superstorm Sandy in 2012. In a typical disaster, your landlines are knocked out as well as a lot of cell towers and cell signals. So when first responders show up on scene, they need to have reliable communication. We're able to provide that. New medical training tools are also now available. This lifelike model of an injured arm is made of material that feels like human flesh. All this will be covered in blood and it'll be pumping in blood. So basically they're getting a hands-on experience of treating things that feel, they look real. And meteorologists say the technology behind hurricane prediction has improved too, now allowing for much more accurate forecasting than a decade ago. The Hurricane Center is doing a better and better job being able to forecast uh, the tracks of the storms. Now the intensity prediction, while it has improved slightly, is a much more challenging problem, I think. It's perfect for emergency situations. But despite the groundbreaking technology available, much of it comes with a hefty price tag. And government officials say the most effective ways to save lives in a disaster are distinctly low tech. Basic life safety issues are what we want to focus on. Have enough water, have enough food, have a can opener. The Atlantic hurricane season begins on June 1st and runs until the end of November.